In order time to fulfill a sales order, we create one or more ship docs. Once the sales order is approved, then we can generate a ship doc. This process of converting a sales order to a ship doc can be done on order time W H. In order to download a sales order to order time W H, a sales order should be approved. Once I download the sales order, we cannot edit or change the sales order until the picking process has been completed. So at this time, we're going to download sales order 1212. All right, so now we're going to show you how to check out a sales order, uh, pick it, the items, the quantities, bins, and lot of serial numbers, and then upload that to create the ship doc. All right, so first we're going to uh, click on sales orders to pick, and I got a sales order here. And we're going to scan it out, and the minute I scan it out, it'll be added to the list. So let's take a look at it on the list. There it is, and I can see that we have two line items. What's required this time? Nothing's been picked. We click into it. I can see nothing has actually been picked. Right. So now I'm going to go to the scan screen. And I have my pick path as um, an item. So it's in alphabetical order. And I can scroll left to right. And I can scan any item that's, that's actually in the list at any time, regardless if it's highlighted or featured on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and, in this case, I'm going to scan the item. Okay. And once it scans the item, it requires me to scan a bin. So the way I have it set up is that each time I scan, it scans once. So I'm going to go ahead and do that a few more times. I'm going to scan from different bins. I definitely don't have to scan the whole order. So you can see that as I'm doing that, both the in, both the quantity on hand and the amount to pick is being reduced. So we just continue doing that. Let's show you that I can also type in the bin or any or the item number. Okay. Well, I actually completed that, that item. Now I'm going to move over to another item that has lot numbers. So when I scan that, you'll see the LSN the lot or serial number appear. And we're just going to scan all of those lot numbers. All right. So if it's an LSN, if it's a lotted serial number, it'll stay there so I can scan the next lot number. So now I scanned all the items that need to be picked. So I get that warning. I can scan over uh, quantity. Again, that depends on the preference to allow uh, or deny uh, scanning quantities greater than ordered. So I'll go back to my list and I can see that, in fact, that everything has been picked. Let's take a look at it again. And we can see where actually the first line item we picked in two bins equally. And then in the second, we picked two different lot or serial numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that by clicking the icon on the top. I can also do that from the list for all the sales orders at the same time. And we see that a ship dock was created for the sales order. Now we're going to go take a look at order time 
and see that in fact the ship dock was created. As a result of the scan that we did in order time WH for sales order 1212, the sales after reloading the sales order, the sales order is now closed. I can see the filled amount on the sales orders. And now I can also see that I have my ship dock as well created. 